guys, today I'm going to be unboxing some perfume from Black Phoenix Alchemy Labs and if you don't know who they are, they are an American company that specialise in really unique, cruelty-free perfume. This is the little box that I received from them. I only ordered this a week ago so I'm really surprised that it's got here and I'm really excited to try it because I didn't think I'd be having it for at least a month because it's been shipped from America so this is really exciting. And I don't know if you saw there, but it came with a really cool little card. And um, that's the back of it. That's really cool. I like that. Um, I ordered uh, 13 things from their website. I got um, 11 imps, which are their little baby sized perfumes. I think they're what, a third ounce? Basically, a tester size. Oh, look at the backs, they're so cute. Um, but I also got two full-sized perfumes, which are a bit of a gamble, seeing as I haven't smelled any of these before. But these didn't have imp options, because they're um, like special collection ones. Whereas a lot of the, uh, like the general collection did have imp versions, so where I could get them I did. But I really like the sound of these two, so I thought I would uh, take a chance on them. Okay, and on my laptop here I've just got the, uh, the uh, descriptions and notes, so I'm just going to read them out before I smell the perfume, just so you know what I'm, what I'm smelling. Okay, first little imp I have is called The Light of Men's Lives. And this one, the description says, The wax and smoke of millions of candles illuminating the walls of Death's shadowy cave. Some tall, straight and strong, blazing with the fire of life, others dim and guttering. And they don't give any notes for this one, so I'm guessing, and from the uh, reviews as well, I'm guessing beeswax, smoke, um, I think I heard someone say your skin but better somewhere on a review. So that's what I'm hoping for, that sort of warm, waxy smell. I was hoping for a, uh, like an everyday perfume, but we shall see. Okay, this isn't what I expected. This is very sweet. It is warm, but it's kind of musky. It's very um, ambery, actually. I would say it was, um, its main note was amber rather than beeswax. But then again, I don't really know what beeswax in a, in a Bee Pal perfume smells like, so it might very well be their beeswax smell, I'm not too sure. But that's quite nice, not what I was expecting, but it is still nice. I'm going to try all of these out on myself over the next month <laughs> to see how they actually um, sort of settle. Obviously everyone will smell different even with the same scent because of the skin's pH and whatever other reason. Next is You Frozen -y. It lists the notes as gardenia, tea rose, vanilla and jasmine. So I'm expecting some sort of sweet floral, which is my favourite kind of perfume in general. So uh, see how this one goes. Oh wow. That is very sweet. That smells like sherbet, like floral sherbet. Wow, this one smells a lot like the um, A Beautiful Life perfumes, because to me, all of theirs smell like sherbet. Literally everything, just different variations, but uh, this it's a floral sherbet, so that's quite nice. Um, not what I was hoping for, because uh, with the notes I was hoping for a nice um, sort of a dupe from the sweet florals you can get from like any mainstream perfume brand that sadly aren't cruelty free. Um, next we have Tesla Capota, if that's how you pronounce it. Some of them have very odd names. Well, names that you don't hear pronounced very often and you see written and you have no idea how to pronounce them. Okay, this one has... Deep cocoa laced with patchouli, leather armour, ritual incense, and a touch of. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And a touch of flowers. Wow. That is definitely patchouli y. Um, yeah, that's. Cocoa and patchouli are very strong in this one. Um, this is like. The only really patchouli smell that I like is a. Uh, Lush's Karma, and this is like if you put really strong, almost almost bitter chocolate in with that. So you've got the slight floral, very strong patchouli, 
and then the uh, the chocolate. I wasn't sure what I was expecting with this one. I wanted a cocoa scented perfume, and I got it. But um, I was hoping for something a bit more soft. I don't know. I think that might be better on um, slightly more masculine. So I might see if my partner wants to wear that. Okay, next we have Santa Euleria de Rio. And this one is a citrus tempered by jasmine, soft Mediterranean herbs, lavender and orange blossom. And, wow. This one smells like menthol, like eucalyptus. It smells very much like Vicks Vapor Rub, to be perfectly honest. Slightly sweeter, more floral Vicks Vapor Rub. That's nice, I'd have to see how that um, settled. It might just be in the bottle where it's strong. Wow, that definitely cleared my sinuses. <laughs> okay, next one we have Shanghai. This one is described as the crisp, clean scent of green tea touched with lemon verbena and honeysuckle. I was really excited about this one because honeysuckle is my favourite scent and you don't see it much in perfumes. So it'd be interesting to uh, see what it smells like. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is so nice. It smells like um, iced tea. Floral iced tea. That's gorgeous. That's my uh, my favourite one so far. That's absolutely lovely. If you like um, fresh floral scents, you'll definitely like this one. It's lovely. Okay, next we have the Dormouse, which is from the Alice in Wonderland collection. But the Dormouse is a dizzying eddy of four teas brushed with light herbs and a breath of peony. I'm excited about this one as well because tea. <laughs> oh, this is nice. <clears throat> this is a very. This is almost like the uh, the sherbetty one, but a lot more toned down. That's very nice. That's a sweet. Still almost got that fizzy sherbetty edge, but obviously got the uh, herbal teas in there as well, which is toning it down. That's nice. I do like that one. That's good. Okay, next we have Alice. Also from the uh, their Alice in Wonderland collection, which is actually uh, is called the uh, Mad Tea Party collection. But um, Alice is... Milk and honey with rose, carnation, and bergamot. So this one might be a bit spicy because of bergamot. This is very sweet. Yeah, I think I can smell the bergamot there. Was it carnation? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice floral. So there's definitely a uh, well, it's very almost sickly sweet with that milk and honey there. Yeah, that's a very bold, sweet floral. I'd have to see how that settled. To be able to wear that but that's nice i like that okay next we have rogue freaking rogue this is from their um rpg collection from the the uh, classes subsection and i've been so excited about this one because i play rogue in everything and i really want this to smell nice it's it's meant to smell like soft well-worn black leather hemped and rosin rosin i don't know how you pronounce that um, and I've, in a lot of the reviews it said that this was very hempy and I don't know what hemp smells like to be honest I've only ever had it in food <laughs> I don't know what um, in fragrance in hemp smells like so we'll give this a go I'm really hoping it's leather but I know from reviews that it changes from in the bottle to on your skin as all of these will oh my god this smells fantastic oh it smells so good Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so glad I like it. Oh. Oh, that's so nice. I don't really know how to describe that to you. Um, now I know what hemp smells like. Yeah, it's very soft, slightly sweet, but you have that almost sort of rough, natural, hessian kind of smell. That's really nice. I like that. I think I like that as much as I like Shanghai. I think those will be my uh, my two favourites from this. I'll probably get um, full size bowls of them if they stay nice on my skin. Oh, I'm good now. I can I can stop. No, I can't. I've got Elf. I've got an Elf. 
I always play, um, if I have the option, I'll usually play as an elf in, um, in RPGs. But, um, okay, this one is... Just, okay, elf is described as a pale golden musk, honeycomb, amber, palma violet, hawthorn bark, aspen leaf, forest lily, life everlasting, white moss, and a hint of wild berry. That's a mouthful. Um, I have no idea how this will smell. I just thought it sounded really interesting and I kind of wanted to have a, um, like a class and a race out of their RPG series and this one um, sounded the nicest to me when I play an elf and everything so a little bit biased. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh wow. That's also very menthol -y, but in a different way. Almost in a toilet cleaner way, got to say, but I think that's the musk. I think that's the uh, golden musk and probably the white moss as well. But it is nice. Is there peppermint in it? No, maybe it's a hawthorn. That is very nice. I'd have to see how that settled. Because, oh no, like splashed some everywhere. My hands. Hands are very perfumey now, I should probably wash them. Um, yeah, in the in the bottle that is almost toilet cleaner. But we'll see how that goes. Next we have Mary Reed, which, to be perfectly honest, I just got because it's Mary Reed. But this one is supposed to be salt air, ocean mist, aged patchouli, sarsaparilla, watered down rum, leather tinged musk, and a spray of gunpowder. And that sounds lovely. I'm really hoping this is sort of um, an oceany salt air fragrance because I live near the sea and that sort of fresh sea air is a lovely smell. I would love to smell like that. So I wonder if they've managed to um, capture it in a bottle. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. That's not what I expected. This smells like a um, liqueur. Oh. Oh, there we go. I've got the, um, like, fresh salt air notes. Top notes there. Oh, that's the, um, I think that's a mix of the uh, patchouli, like, gunpowder, and rum. That was an odd one. I think I'll wear that on a night out sometime and see how it goes. <laughs> I think that's a bit strong for day. Um, okay, next we have Bewitched. And Bewitched is meant to be a deep, luscious green and berry scents that evoke images of woodland witchcraft and the raw power of nature. Blackberry, sage, green tea, wild berries and musk. And I thought this sounded really nice. To be honest, they got me a witchcraft. So oh, I should probably smell something else to get that um, rub out of my nose. Oh, this is nice. Okay. okay. This is really nice. I like this a lot. This is very subtle, like I can barely smell anything. But what I can smell is nice. Sort of a fresh berry. Yeah, it smells like a woodland, to be honest. Like the, um, yeah, it smells like a woodland, but that fresh, almost earthy, leafy scent. Um, maybe with some bark under your feet and some berries walking by. Yeah, they've captured that beautifully. I really like that. I think that's, uh, that's one of my favourites now. Okay, and the next ones I got are the... Uh, oh, God. The next ones I got are the full-sized bottles, which I'll just take out of their packaging now. Okay, the first one I got is... Oh, that's a big that's a big amount in comparison to the others. The first ones I got is Fairy Bites, which is from their Labyrinth collection. And I was really torn as to what to get for one of the full-size ones because I knew I wanted to get something from one of their sort of specific collections. And they have a Labyrinth collection, but they also have a Last Unicorn collection. And I really didn't know which one to go for, but this one had the notes that I thought I would like the most. Let me um, let you know what they are. This one has Osmanthus, Raw Honey, Lavender, Chamomile, White Peppermint, Raspberry, Honeysuckle, Thyme, Bergamot and Dracula Orchid. And those are all things I like. So, I'm hoping that it isn't something nice. Oh my god, that, that is freaking beautiful. Oh, you can get the um, peppermint and thyme in there. Oh, oh 
flare on my nose there. <laughs> got the sweetness coming out there from the uh, florals and probably the raw honey as well. That fresh white peppermint. And some herbal as well, it's beautiful. It's absolutely lovely, it had good reviews and uh, it really lives up to it, that's lovely. I'm so glad I like that, because I have a whole bottle. <laughs> the next one is Sarah the Mother Bear, which is from their Pretty Deadly collection. And I don't know anything about this um, collection and what it's based on, to be perfectly honest. I just got this because of the notes, which sounded so nice. Um, this one's description says, Practical sense, warm, nurturing, wise and strong. Tonka bean, soft brown leather, myrrh, white sage, gurgeon balsam, Ceylon cinnamon bark, red sandalwood, sweet tobacco, and a touch of gun smoke. And I'm really hoping that this is a nice, warm, comforting smell that I could maybe wear on an everyday basis or even to work. Okay, that's a definite warm smell. Almost smell like like wool or wood, it smells very natural and a bit of spice as well, I think I feel like a little bit of a cinnamon kick or balsam, yeah the balsam and the cinnamon combined a little bit of a kick that's nice, I'll have to see how this um, how this goes on my skin because it's a very subtle scent, I can't really get anything else apart from the warm and the balsam but I'm hoping that once on the skin I'll get the uh, sort of the sweetness and the, the warmth coming out of there. So that's all the stuff that I actually ordered, but they actually sent a few free um, imps, which I think they call frimps. <laughs> um, I got six little imp sizes, which I've looked up just to set, just to let you know what the notes are. Um, so the first one I got is called Black Forest, and this one is described as. This is the captured scent of cold, moonless night, lost deep within the darkness of the wood, haunting and desolate. This scent evokes images of the fairy tale tragedy and half-remembered nightmares. Thick, viscous pine with ambergris, ambergris, black musk, juniper and cypress. And I think this is a masculine scent, like a cologne, but maybe my partner will like it. I'll give this a go, see what it smells like. Oh wow. That's a very balsamy smell. Oh, I, don't know, I swear, everything to me out of this smells like menthol or sherbet. <laughs> Can I please find some middle ground? That is very nice. He might like that actually because he likes lavender smells, so he might like balsam smells as well. I'm not sure. It's quite pleasant. Not something I would wear because it because it is very masculine and too masculine for me. I will wear clean scents and I, I do wear like men's deodorant, but that's a whole different. It's just a little bit too masculine for me, but I will offer that to him. And the next one is Gamora, and this one has a very odd description. Right, it's a gritty, sordid, and languid scent with ripe fig, date, and currant with black herbs. And it doesn't sound like a nice scent. The notes don't sound bad, but it's a little description sounds horrible, so uh, I don't have high hopes. Yeah, that doesn't smell nice. To be honest, it smells exactly like its description, which is a good thing. It's accurate, but I don't want to smell like this. Yeah, this smells um, like overripe. Like almost like decaying fruit. It's very sweet, but in a uh, musky patchouli way that makes you think of decay. Not going to be wearing that, but that's nice to experience anyway. Okay, the next one is Aizen Mai. I'm really not sure on the pronunciation for this one, but this one is supposed to have yuzu, khaki and mikan with cherry blossom and black tea. Now this one sounds lovely, its description is very, is a long passage so I won't read it to you but it sounds, um, it's very sensual. So hopefully this will be a nice sort of, maybe sexy scent. Oh this is nice. It's like a very, very fresh bright floral. Can definitely get that um, cherry blossom in there and 
and a bit of tea as well. It's very clean. It's almost like an intense... It's something you would expect a fabric softener to smell like, but a really nice, expensive one. That's really pleasant. I'll definitely be wearing that. Mm. It definitely smells like a very clean, clean, bright smell. That's nice. Okay, the next smell, next fragrance is the Dodo, which is another one of the Alice in Wonderland ones, but not one that I picked myself. Its description says red musk, lemon peel, sugar cane, white sandalwood, mango and agar wood. So this sounds like it's going to be very sweet. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. It smells like... Like sugary... Like sugar cookies. That's quite nice though. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. It is sweet, but it's not sickly. You've got sort of a... Uh, Something in there is calming it down. Maybe the citrus. That's very nice. Again, this smells a lot like one of the um, A Beautiful Life perfumes that I actually have. It smells like their, um, their sugary one. So, but this is a more toned down version. This is very pleasant. Okay, next one is Has No Hannah. Has No Hannah. Which isn't actually a perfume scent. It's, it's part of their... Um, Conjabag Perfume Oil Blend, so it's actually an, an oil blend. Its description says, brings a rush of good luck, lifts the spirits, and helps alleviate depression. So it doesn't actually have any notes listed with it, but so it's more of a blend rather than a, uh, rather than like a fragrance. But I wanna know what this, uh, this is gonna smell like. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, this, this smells soapy, actually. Yeah, this smells like very nice soap. But I really like that. Yeah, it's a bit sweet, a bit like laundry fresh, and yeah, like a very nice, pleasant soap. Definitely be wearing that. That's very, that's lovely. Really like that. Okay, and the last one, of, last of my fruits is Druid, which is from the RPG collection, and one that I was actually thinking of buying as an imp myself, because its description sounds lovely. It says, a woolen robe infused with the scent of a vast primordial forest, ancient trees, fertile soil, wild herbs, spring grasses, and burgundy pitch incense. So that sounds very nice and natural. Like, it smell like a woodland. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the smell conjures that image of you know, the, the woodland and the woolen robe, but we shall see. Oh, that's nice, but, very strong. I think, is that the pitch? Yep, this smells like, like a camping trip, but not the, um, not sort of the campfire marshmallow camping trip, but like an actual in the forest overnight kind of smell. I imagine this is what you would smell like if you just lived in a forest. So that's, that's very nice. A bit more um, potent than that I would wear every day, but I'll definitely give it a go. See how it settles on my skin. Okay, that was all of my Be Pal perfumes. Okay, so I'm really pleased with all the perfumes that I got here. A lot of them I think that I'm going to be able to wear on a daily basis, like especially, especially these three, these four: uh, Has No Hannah, Bewitched, Rogue, and Shanghai. I think they're going to be my um, Sort of like a good everyday perfume for me. I'm really hoping that they smell nice on my skin. And um, and uh, fairy bites as well. Some of the, uh, all the others I will wear, apart from maybe Gamora and Black Forest. I think they were a bit too odd for me. Like uh, Black Forest was a bit too masculine for me. Gamora is a bit too out there. But all the others I'll definitely wear and see how they last. And I think I'll do a maybe like a vlog style post to see how they go. Um, like wear them and then update you throughout the day how it's actually settling on my skin to give you a better idea. Because where these are in the bottle and wet, they might smell completely different than when they actually are on your skin. And they might change throughout the day to completely different scents. That's, you know, that's very common with perfumes like these. So I can't give you a 100% like a what it's like impression by just sniffing them like this. But it's a good first impression, so I wanted to share that with you seeing as not many people in the UK probably buy from them because 
it's an American company and we don't really hear about them. I don't even know where I heard about them. It was probably on YouTube or a blog or something when I was looking for cruelty-free perfumes and they popped up and I just, I just couldn't help myself. I went on like a, uh, a buying spree and I've got like a wish list full of them so I think I'll be making another order in the next month or so with another load of little imps and maybe buy one of the full size ones of the, uh, of the four that I mentioned that I really liked if they, uh, if they do smell nice on my skin throughout the day. Okay, well hopefully you enjoyed that, hearing about what all these perfumes smell like. It's a bit weird seeing as you can't actually smell them yourself, but I hope I was able to give you some sort of accurate descriptions of what they actually smell like. Hopefully you enjoyed this and maybe inspired you to go check them out yourself and see if you can find yourself a cruelty-free fragrance that suits you. Okay, bye guys, see you next time.